Welcome back to the channel guys, nice to see you. I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world. Today I'll tell you the reality of living in Hoi Him, what it's really like living there guys. Please, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to the channel, help us out. Just press that red button, it's free, guys. Okay, let's get on with today's video. Hua Hin advertises itself as a retirement haven. Hua Hin was voted by Forbes magazine, you've probably seen recently, it's like one of the three best places in the world to like retire to. So it's like a retirement hub there. The other two places were Malaga in Spain and Panama. So Forbes voted Hua Hin as like one of the best places to live in your 60s, okay? Maybe not in your 30s, but uh, even though I loved it in my 30s, but, you know, definitely in your 50s, 60s, 70s, I think it's an awesome place to go. Next reason would be there's a lot of real estate agents, English speaking, which is important, in that area. So you're not going to have any communication problems trying to find whether it be a rental property or maybe, you know, you've got a girlfriend or wife and, you, you know, you're looking to buy there or you've got some kind of business there and you're looking to buy a condo or apartment or house. So these agents going to make it a lot easier for you to find a decent property for yourselves. The next reason would be like the international accredited hospital in Hua Him, which is Bangkok International Hospital. So this is a really popular choice for like expats or retirees that live in the town. The excellent state of care in the hospital, you know, English speaking staff. And you know, people go there for medical tourism all over Thailand, but especially in Hua Hin. The next would be like the clean beaches, you know, around the area. And around that area, there's lots of beautiful beaches to go and visit. And they're definitely less crowded than other areas, you know than Patea area, than Phuket area, you know, all the very tourist kind of, or retirement havens as well. For golf enthusiasts, you know, Hoa Hin is an amazing place to go and visit. A lot of people think that, you know, the layout of the golf course and the actual location is just superb. You know, the design of the course, uh, very scenic, very, very beautiful. So really nice kind of golf courses in Hoa Hin definitely got like lush landscape you know i've seen quite a few of them and you know they're ocean looking so you can look out over the ocean while you're playing golf superb a very relaxed and soothing way to spend your sunday afternoon i think guys away from the missus scenic surroundings around Hoi Hin. A lot of people don't realize this, but Hoi Hin is a great location. South of Wai Hin, you've got Pramburi, which is about 30 to 40 minutes drive away, which is a beautiful area. It's like a national park there. It's fantastic. And then about an hour south of Hoi Hin, there's a place called Sam Roy Yacht National Park, and that's absolutely even better. It's a wonderful place within an hour of Hoi Hin. Obviously, the last reason, I mean, if you don't know, I mean, Thailand is generally a very low cost of living all over Thailand. But in Hoi Hin, it's exceptionally low. You know, it's on par with Pattaya, about the same, you know, which a lot of people retire to Pattaya as well in Thailand. And Phuket, I would say, is a little bit more expensive. So, you know, the cost of living in Hoi Hin is very, very affordable living there. So I think Hoi Hin should be on the bucket list for you if you're thinking about retiring to somewhere in Thailand, you know, I think it should be bang on the top of your list of places to go uh, and see. I'm retiring. I just can't see anywhere better, personally, myself. Hope that helps you out, guys, from Thailand. Until next time, take it easy.